Hello everyone, my name is Fernando Viscaino and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before I begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. So, today we are going to talk about reading and saving files to a folder in Alteryx Gallery. So I have an, an example ready here for you, it's a simple one with an input data tool, an output data tool in here, the folder where I'm get, getting the data from. So the first step here that you need to make sure is that both your designer and the server has access to, to this folder and that's doable uh, mainly by using a share folder okay so and when I say that your Outrix server needs to be access to this folder that means that the service account that is running the Outrix gallery needs to be able to access this folder so this is a, a common mistake that you need to be aware of the second step here is to properly configure the path so if if yours like mine here and your share folder is mapped to a specific drive we need to standardize that and how do we do that so you go here to options tab advanced options and workflow settings and here you can see it's all, all pointing to the Y drive and what we can see here we have a button to to standardize that to a universal convention and here you can see now that we have the, the IP of the server and also the folder where I'm getting this data from I can press OK here and the third step here is to save this in Outrix Gallery so let's save and we need to also check the workflow options specifically the manage workflow assets and here we have two options so if we check for example the customer data set that means that the the Outrix gallery will pack this workflow with this the current data set and it will save a copy a copy in the server and if we, we uncheck it that means that Outrix will be always reading from this specific folder and that is also the same for the output so if you check it it will create a copy to your Outrix gallery but it will not save in that specific folder so let's leave both unchecked and save this to the Outrix gallery so it's saving validating and now let's view on browser That way, if check here, we don't have an output date, output data here. Then, if you run, we can see. Run once again, and then we can see the the output here. So that's it for today. I hope that now you have an idea of how to, to build this kind of workflow and good luck. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted.